Korean promotions. Tell them so. to a recent post that we've had with Rich Nice uh, concerning an Instagram post that we've had up. Mm -hmm. um, I guess you have some feedback concerning that. Yeah, I mean, we saw that we saw it today. Um, you know what he said was uh, which directly. From, you know, if I'm wrong, let me know. Yeah. You know, he was. He said you know he sees um, Ravi not congratulating Ki and basically also that Ravi's a little jealous of Ki. And things like that and nothing could be further from the truth you know what i mean i spoke to ravi today about it and that's just completely untrue you know ravi's uh ravi b is just concentrating on his career his music and him and ki don't really have an issue like that like in his mind maybe you know maybe rich had certain biases we don't know it's his opinion and we're not gonna you know get on him for his opinion we disagree with his opinion okay completely you know what I mean? And um, we know for a fact Ravi's not jealous of KI or anybody else. Um, that's just completely, completely false. Ravi's the most humble guy, as you've spoken to him in the past, and you, could prob you probably know this. I have, yes. And, um, you know, he shows love to everybody, KI, every other artist, and he has no issues. And um, for Rich to say that, it's, 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 there's no facts to that. I don't know where it came from. I don't know what he's really talking about. Again, it's his opinion, but uh, you know, I suspect his opinion is uh, a little bit biased since we don't really work with him anymore. So. Have you had dealings with Rich in the past? Yeah, you have. Okay. Yeah. Were you booked for the upcoming event he spoke about? Yeah, Chuck. Originally, we were booked uh, not through Rich Nice though. Not through Rich Nice. Okay. No, for the event, we were originally booked with Curtis Eustace. So he had a, his own event planned or whatnot, and we were going ahead with that for July 1st. And, you know, things happened along the way. And he mentioned to me that um, him and Rich joined. And um, he wanted us to work with, continue on with the event, even though it was, we were dealing with CDR. Yeah. And, you know, we, we, um, it would have been a great event. And basically, we did it for Curtis. Curtis and his, he had his partner, Godfrey. We were, we were close with those guys, and we, um, we were going to go ahead with it, you know? Okay. So confirming of what he said, because verbatim of what he said is that um, he respects and loves Ravi B. Who's this? This is Rich Nice. Rich Nice, yeah. So quote unquote, he respects and loves Ravi B, but he feels that he's jealous of KI. Now, for him saying that, whether it's true or not, is there any animosity between Ravi B and KI? No, the, first of all, there's definitely no animosity with Ravi and Ki, I mean, or jealousy, why would there be, I mean, I'm going to be really frank, you know, like, Ki is coming up, he's doing well, um, but it hasn't taken away from Ravi B in any way, okay, it hasn't affected karma, or our bookings, or our gigs, our fan base, our music, we've seen, we've had, you know, we don't have one hit, or two hit, or three hits, yeah, 20 something hits plus, and growing, that collabs with everybody, and Ravi's just focused on his music and uh, moving on and doing bigger and greater things. Um, he's, I don't have to sell Ravi. Everyone knows who Ravi is. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? So that is just, that's kind of a joke, to be honest with you, when I come to think about it. There's, so there's no, no, dis no disrespect to KI yeah. right now yeah. when I say this. But, and this is what it is right now. This is the reality. Of what, and we're being real right now. Ravi is not jealous of KI because... No offense, we have nothing to be jealous of. Okay. He didn't take nothing from us. Mm -hmm. He won two titles. We had fun with it. Ravi had uh, has one title. To be honest with you, you know, Chucky Soka Monarch is just a competition to us. It didn't affect our jobs. We had over 70 gigs for Carnival in Trinidad and we booked throughout the year. Mm -hmm. And so forth. So, and it didn't affect anything. Well, today I got a few phone calls after the post was made. Mm -hmm. um, from members of your camp, mm -hmm. as well as members of Trevini camp, mm -hmm. and directly from Rich himself, mm -hmm. notify me that you have pulled out from mm -hmm. the Chutney Firefest. Yes, we did. 
Uh, Ravi, as well as Nisha B, yourself, has very has been very interactive with your fans. Mm-hmm. Um, we as a social media side as well, yeah. has been very interactive with the people that we associated with and the people that we cover. Mm-hmm. And we've noticed some ins and outs between the Trevini camp and the Ravi B camp. Ins and outs, what do you mean? Comments back and forth. Okay, you mean like social media, forth. things like that? Social media, yeah, yeah. Forth. So with that said, the reason why I asked that question is because when you say that there's not much of an issue, but yet we can see these things online, mm-hmm. is this more of a personal thing or of a business thing? That I just personally think, I, you know, I can say something. I mean, I've said stuff like on Facebook, social, or media, yeah. social media, you know, me, I, I took my little dabs and just like other people did yeah. towards us. But it's, it's just, um, for us, it was more like kicks and games and things like that. You know what I mean? But that's what I did. May have been a reflection of Ravi, but that's I take responsibility for that, to be honest with you. Okay. Is there anything you want to end it with? I guess, you know, really and truly, like, our team, we're just trying to stay away from anything negative. Yeah. In response to really being jealous of any artist, including KI, it's completely false. Mm-hmm. It's if, if anybody really knows Ravi, he's a really humble guy, and he would work with anybody. And you might even see a song with Ravi and KI one day, you never know. It's been talked about. We hope so. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like I said, Lime have a studio. Yeah. <laughs> we'll keep that in mind. And we go Lime. And we go Lime. Yeah. Thank you guys for joining in. As we saw tonight, we've addressed some issues that was clearly that needed to be addressed. And hopefully this can uh, rectify the issue in the future. And hopefully yeah. we, might, we might see you guys on the same stage in the future. Yeah, definitely. And we can, I guess, clear up the misinterpretation that people might have against the feud between Trevini and, and Carlo. Yeah, we we open to working with them anytime. Like it Absolutely. was going to happen. It was going to happen. Yeah. It was already confirmed to happen. And unfortunately, things happen, and yeah. now we have we can't make it happen anymore. But not to say we can't happen again. Excellent. You know, it'll be great. Thanks for having us, my boy. All the best. Boy, now we're here at his house, huh? Is <laughs> <laughs> your boy? I can't say yes. <laughs> <laughs>